everything that's happening in psychedelics for the most part is in drug development, drug discovery predominantly. So it's a pharma approach. It's a drug development approach. It's about delivery mechanisms. It requires FDA approval. It requires the DEA to sign off on it as well, right? It, so there are a lot of uh, processes that you have to go through in order to show that what you're working on is for you know, accessibility, for scale, and it is in a position to actually solve the distinct problems that they're going after. They're going after indications. Treatment-resistant depression is an indication. Um, major depressive disorder is an indication. Alcohol use disorder is an indication, right? So these are distinct indications that many of these companies that are working with psychedelics are going through. So it's different because it's more of a biotech approach. It's more of a farm approach as opposed to it being a recreation. There are well over 50 publicly traded stocks that are focused on this area and this space. The market is still relatively small. It may be below 5 billion or so. That being said, this is probably one of the greatest unmet needs that we've ever seen. And I think a prime example that I can give is, we're all using tools like Zoom right now, right? Mm -hmm. Now, Zoom wouldn't be around if it wasn't for you know, broadband computing, if it wasn't for cloud computing that came onto the scene in 2009, 2010. Mm -hmm. When that came on, that technology allowed us to have applications and platforms like Zoom. In the same way, there have been events that have taken place over the last five years in neuroscience and, and brain development and understanding of the way the brain functions that make this the right environment to invest in the space at an early enough stage